Hi, Beck Mac here for Pops Art, and I am at Quag because today a really exciting new exhibition is opening. It's William Young's show, a retrospective called Seeing Being Seen. And here's William. How are you? Hi, Beck. I'm really happy. I can tell you're so happy, and I'm so happy for you because I've just had a tour of this amazing historical documentation of moments, which is what we were chatting about earlier. You are from Queensland and now your retrospective is here in the Queensland Art Gallery. How do you feel right now? Well, uh, I, I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled that they've picked it up. Yeah. And um, it's got a Queensland slant to it, yeah. but that's fine because I, I was born here and uh, my Queensland story, which is about Chinese identity is a really powerful story, yeah. and it happened here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you started off in Queensland, but let's forget Queensland for now because I'm far more excited about what happened in Sydney in the 70s because that's where you went. What can you take us back to that time and and what was going on? What have we got here, William? This is a photograph of um, a party that 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 I went to in the 70s, quite early in the parties. It's a person sprawled out <laughs> on, on a bed. And uh, I just like it because it, I, I call it the fall of Icarus. Yes. And it's like he fell. And everyone was falling there from whatever, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and so I think that this is like, th this is like, like ca captures the times. Yeah. Because it was it was decadent, you know, wild. And before you were saying that it was decadent, it was wild. But we now live in conservative times. Like, how how can we understand? How, how do you understand from where you are what's where we are right now in regards to that time? Well, that time will never come again for a while, at least. Yeah. But it's just got more and more conservative. Yeah. And I think there were things like AIDS came along yeah. too, and that kind of put a damper on everything. Yeah. That stopped the party, AIDS. Yeah. But people still party now, so like it, the, the Mardi Gras still going. Yeah. So, you know, there are still glimmers of hope yeah. and fun. But it will never be like those 70s. No. Now, you did briefly mention before about your, um, your Queensland, growing up in Queensland, uh, your cultural heritage here. And there was a story that sort of really, I guess, blew your mind about your uncle and how that then sent you on a journey to, uh, to explore more your Chinese identity and heritage. Can you just give us a little uh, insight into that? Well, I, w I was brought up as an assimilated Australian. My mother thought being Chinese was a complete liability and she wanted us to be more Australian than the Australians. So it wasn't until I was 35 that I came to terms with my Chinese heritage and I embraced it. Yeah. And so that meant telling the family my family story mm. just as a generic Australian Chinese or Chinese Australian story. Yeah. And it, it turns out that there was a very big event in my family's history. My uncle was murdered mm. in 1922. Mm. And um, the scandal of the event was that the person who shot, shot him, he was shot, yeah. was uh, a white Russian called Peter Danilchenko. Right. But he was acquitted of first, de first degree murder because he'd only killed a Chinaman. Oh. And so this is the... Yeah. the, the that is what I kind of had to acknowledge or wanted to acknowledge. Yes, yes. And so that kind of runs through my, uh, it, it, it made my mother understandable to me. Yes. And also it, it made me conscious of my Chinese identity, which I explore in this exhibition. Yes. And I guess for Australians, like those stories are so crucial because we can't deny the past. We have to understand what went on so then we can, I guess, reconcile in ourselves that, those brutal pasts so then hopefully we can have a much more, um, equal, e more equality and understanding of humanity, do, do you think? Absolutely. That's, that's the whole point, I think, of having um, exhibitions or I, I pursue this line in that hope. Yes. And also, just embracing a diverse culture, like some of these people here don't get big 
airtime, but uh, I, I, we actually consciously put in um, people from different backgrounds in, in this, well-known people, all of them, into this mix. And talking about these people, like, hello, it's the who, who, who's, who's, who's of the celebrity world of Sydney, which you are king of. Um, I know you can't say, but who's your favourite? Who, who, who blew your mind the most? No, I like this work of um, Helen Garner oh, be because it's kind of funky. <laughs> it's kind of funky because it's, uh, it's like nine, nine, what is it called? Nine views of Helen Garner. Yes, I love that. And... Uh, when I, when I took this, th these photographs, you know, she was, she, um, she well, 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 she's kind of performing for the camera a bit, yes. but then she suffered great sadness. Mm. Both her marriages failed. Yeah. And she, she were, when I showed them these photographs again, um, she was astonished that she could just be ordinarily happy. And so I thought that wow. was... <laughs> it's like a whole human journey in those yeah, images. That's right. that's right. Now, quickly, our last one. Hello. Are you guys, like, best friends ever, you and Benjamin Law? Like, there's so many, you know, I can see that you guys must have, when you found each other, gone, hello, <laughs> you're my soul friend. Well, what a great we have, image. We have a daddy-son relationship. <laughs> I can imagine, and you both love your mothers. Yes, that's right, and so uh, and and I love Ben, and um, and and I kind of do see him as the next year, myself in the next if I'd have been born thirty years later or something like that. But um, he, he's got a wonderfully successful career, yeah. and he's just uh, um, yeah, he he's just a terrifically successful person. Mm. And he, he's gay, he's Chinese, and he wears it on his sleeve, yeah. and, uh, and we're great friends. Yeah, yeah, I love Benjamin too. So thank you so much for your time. I'm so excited for you, and I feel very honoured to be able to share this moment with you. <laughs> and we documented it, so that's great. And um, yeah, like, I can't wait for the rest of the world to see this work. So thank oh, you. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Beck. <laughs>